Hi, this is Anil with a video tutorial for the learning lad on C programming. In this video tutorial, we're gonna see how we can read some characters from the file. So, to read a character from the file, we are gonna use a function called f get c. That stands for get a character from the file. So, first we're gonna see the syntax of this f get c. Uh, this f get c function returns the character which is read from the file. So, we have to pass the file pointer or the file from which we want to read so we have to open that file using this fopen and uh, we get a file pointer that we have to pass to this fgetc function so it's going to return the character which has been read from the uh, file so okay now we're going to use this fgetc function in our program so since we are dealing with the files i we have created a file pointer uh, we, and we called it as pf then we open the anil.txt file in the read mode because we want to read the file so then next we checked whether our file was open successfully or not so if the file wasn't open successfully then we said unable to open the file else now we're gonna print the contents of the file character by character so since we are reading a character at a time from the file we need to store that for that we need a uh, variable of type character so I'm going to declare it it's going to be char ch so now here we want to read all the contents from the file that's why I'm writing a while loop here then we are using another function which is called feof that is file and of this feof function is used to determine whether we have read the end of the file so here as a parameter to this function we have to pass the file pointer or the file from which we are reading so this feof function returns true if the end of the file has been reached else it, it, it's gonna return a value 0 and in c a value of 0 is similar to you know false so here we want to read all the contents from this file anil.txt that's why we are using a while loop to loop through all the contents of the file so we want to stop when we read the end of the file so this feof function lets us know whether we have read the end of the file or not but as i explained you earlier feof function returns true only if i to reach the end of the file else it's gonna return a value of 0 which means false in C but this while loop is gonna run only if the condition here is true so when when we first read from the file you know uh, if any content is there in the file then you know this feof function is gonna return 0 that's because you know it hasn't read the end of the file so that means our while loop is gonna stop here only we don't want that to happen we want to read all the content from this file that's why we're gonna add a not operator here so now what happens is when this feof function returns 0 which is equivalent to false because of this not operator it's gonna become true and our while loop is gonna execute or continue and when this feof function returns true which means okay I have read the end of the file then because of this not operator this condition is gonna be false and this while loop is gonna stop when this condition becomes false that's what we want so here it's gonna be feof of pf that's a file pointer or the file then in this while loop we're gonna read the character from the file and we're gonna save it in the variable ch so ch equal to f get c then we have to pass the file pointer uh, from which we want to read the characters it's gonna be pf then we're gonna use printf statement it's gonna be printf and uh, percentage c that's because we are reading a character then refer this ch here so after reading all these contents just we're gonna close our file open by using this f close function so now I'm gonna open up anil.txt which is that file from which we are reading and I have already written hi I am Anil Shetty in that file so when we run our program you know our program is gonna read hi I am Anil Shetty 
character by character and print it on the screen so I'm gonna close it save compile and run so as you can see here we have hi I am Anil Shetty as it was in the file anil.txt so I'm gonna close this then here within this anil.txt I'm gonna delete this contents and I'm gonna write some other thing let's write uh, this is the place then add I uh, know a new line blank line then in the third line write uh, where then a new line you can then align learn all the things so this is it now save it and uh, we're gonna run our program compile and run so as you can see here you know it says this is a place then a new line as it was in our anil.txt and where you can learn all the things so it was like as it is in the anil.txt so this is it this is about the f get c function in c so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe i see you in the next tutorial